everyone, Cheryl here, and today I'm going to walk you through adding a data drop-down list spreadsheet. Um, so what I have here is a volunteer sign-up sheet that I created, and I'm going to give you an example. I did the first one just to show you what it's going to look like. And see, you see here there's a drop-down, and I have set up, clean up, and serve food. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to show you um, how we would do this, and I'm going to use the tab for choosing what shift uh, the volunteer is going to sign up for. So the first thing you want to do is, after you create what you want your spreadsheet to look like, you go to the next worksheet, and you put in um, the information that you want in list form with no spaces. And after you do that, you want to name um, that particular um, set of cells. So you would select your cell. Excuse me. Okay, here we go. And you go in here and name your cell range. And let's name it Shift. Now, what you have to do is very important that you hit Enter. If I were to just click off of it, when I selected it, it didn't save. So you definitely want to to hit the enter key and if you see I, if I go and select them all again I'll, you'll see shift now what you can do in the actual spreadsheet so that other people aren't seeing um, where you're pulling the information from you can actually right click and you can hide that information okay but you want to definitely remember what you named it so you go back to your your first worksheet here and what you're going to do is click on the space where you want the drop-down list to appear. And you're going to go over to your ribbon and select Data. And you're going to go over here to Data Tools and Data Validation. So once you click on that, you go to the Allow box and you scroll down to List. Once you do that, you want to do your Source page. Now, if your source was actually on this page, then you would just select this button here and you would select the range that you want it but of course that's not the case so when you have it in a different worksheet as I do here you're gonna do shift which is what I named it but what's very important is that you put the equal sign there and make sure you have ignore blank and in cell drop down list checked and then if you want to put down a message that's fine too so let's call it uh, sh uh, let's call it shift input message please select the shift you are volunteering for and then select OK and you'll notice that the box highlights and you get the little red the, I'm sorry the little um, arrow with the drop down box click on that and there you go you've got all your shifts to choose from now even though the font is pretty small here once you select it it will know to um, to uh, be the same font as what you have in the rest of your your file or whatever font size that you have uh, selected for that particular cell and there you have it take care until next time